Hello my friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I post new videos here on my channel every single week. Everything from budget videos to grocery hauls to vlogs and other lifestyle things. So if you are interested in that sort of video, I recommend that you take a minute to subscribe. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my cash envelope stuffing and sinking funds for the third paycheck in the month of June. I posted this whole budget breakdown earlier in the week. Typically, I post the budget breakdown and the cash envelope stuffing all in one video. However, at the time when I filmed this video, I hadn't had time to get to the bank. So um, in order to still be able to get my video up on time on Friday, my budget videos typically always go up on Fridays when I do the week's budget breakdown, um, I went ahead and separated it into two videos. So this, I guess you could call my June week three budget part two. This is gonna be all about the cash envelope stuffing. So as you can see, I have my cash here. I sat down off camera and filled in my cash envelope breakdown where I figured out all of the denominations that I needed to pull out from the bank. Um, this book that you're looking at, by the way, is my budget by paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom, which I have printed and punched and put into a big size happy planner. Um, but yeah, so I broke down the budget here on this page. This is the paycheck bill tracker page from the budget by paycheck workbook. Figured out what I needed for each of my categories. And then when it was time to figure out the cash, I looked at the categories that I pull cash for. In my case, that is cash envelopes, sinking funds, and extra savings. So I write down all of those line items here. I break them down by denomination so I can figure out which bills I need in order to stuff my cash envelopes. And then I write them on this bank teller slip from the Budget Mom. This is um, a little pad of sticky notes that has the little breakdown here printed right on them. And then I take this to the bank and I go and get the cash. So I have done all of that off camera and now we are going to stuff the envelopes. So I have all of the categories and their amounts written here. I'm going to set this off to the side so that I can still reference it, but so that it's not in the shot. And we're going to go ahead and start out with the cash stuffing. So the very first category that I have on my list here is my husband's spending money. I've actually already given him that. Um, it was so late in the week by the time that we finally got around to getting to the bank that he was desperate for it by the time he went to the bank. So I've already given him that cash so you won't see that here. Next we have eating out. So I've pulled out my cash envelopes from my wallet. These are the envelopes that we spend from every single week. We fill them on a weekly basis and we just spend the money until it's gone and then we stop spending in that category. So the envelopes that I have are my personal spending, which we won't be filling this week because I actually left my spending money in the bank so that I can make online purchases. So this we can set to the side. I have eating out, which we will be filling today. And then the other envelope that I have here is miscellaneous. I made these envelopes on my own, by the way, using some old Happy Planner divider pages and I just laminated them. This is miscellaneous, but I'm actually not going to use this for miscellaneous spending this week. I'm going to use this for gas because I pulled out my gas money in cash for the first time ever this week and I haven't had a time to make a gas envelope. So rather than putting this whole cash envelope stuffing on pause for an even longer period of time, I decided just to use my miscellaneous envelope here for gas. And I will know what that's for. And at some time during this week, when I have more time, I'll make a gas envelope. So now that that rambling is out of the way, we're going to stuff our cash envelopes. So the first one is eating out. As you can see, 
our envelope is empty. We used all of our cash last week for eating out. We pretty much always do. Um, so for eating out, I budgeted $50. So we're going to just put a $50 bill into this envelope and this envelope will go back into my wallet. And then whenever we decide to eat out this week, I'll have that money available. Um, and then next we have gasoline. So like I said, I'm going to use this miscellaneous envelope, no problem. And for gas, we have also budgeted $50. So that's another $50 bill. And that is it for my cash envelopes. That always goes really, really quickly. These two envelopes will go back into my wallet and we will move on to our sinking funds. So I keep our sinking funds in this accordion folder. This is from Amazon. I purchased this one because it has a flat bottom, which means that I can easily stand it up on its own. I don't have to hold it. I don't have to worry about it falling over. And this is where I keep all of our sinking funds. So all of the categories have a tab and they are all labeled. I used my little label maker to label them. And so every week, whenever I am filling my cash envelopes, I just go to the fund that I'm funding. I pull out the stack of cash as well as this little um, index card where I keep track of the money that's going in and out of this sinking fund. And um, I just update it every week. So the first one that we are going to fill here is campground. My campground money gets saved up and it goes toward our annual fee for our campground where we have a camper that sits on an annual campsite. In October, we pay the annual fee, so we save up a little bit of money throughout the year so that when October rolls around, we have it to make that payment. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Should have probably done that sooner. And for campground this week, we are going to be adding $50. So right now in my campground fund, I have $300. And so I just write the date and I usually just use the date of the paycheck rather than the date that I actually entered the money because I don't always have the cash on hand on payday. Um, and it just makes it easier to keep track of that way. So payday was the 16th of June and we added from that paycheck $50. So that should mean that we have $350 in our campground fund. So I'm going to add the $50 and then I'm going to go ahead and count this up and make sure that it is indeed $350. So 100, 50, 200, 50, 70, 90, 310, 3.30, So that is indeed accurate. This has been updated and this will go back behind the campground tab in my accordion folder. Next up on my list is car tags and maintenance. So I look behind the little car tags um, tab and currently in our car tags and maintenance um, little envelope here, we have $384 and we're going to be adding $25 today. So the 16th, we add $25 and let's see, that's going to be 300, no, 400 and nine, I believe 409. Not the greatest at mental math. So hopefully that's accurate. We're going to add the $25, so that's a 20 and a five. I'll go ahead and slip it in here and we'll count it up and make sure that my math was accurate and I have $409. Okay. Just get this all straightened out and then we'll count it up. So 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my mental math was accurate. 
I have what I think I'm supposed to have and this fund is now up to $409 and this will go to cover our renewal of our car tags in January um, as well as any other car maintenance. So if we have an oil change or we blow a tire or we need new spark plugs or whatever it is. So that will go back behind the car tags tab. Next we have Christmas. And I actually keep our Christmas savings in this pretty little cash envelope that I got from the Budget Mom. This was part of the 2020 Savings Challenge course. I signed up for that back at the beginning of the year and it's a fun course that teaches you fun ways to save money as well as gives you a ton of principles that you can use throughout the year in that endeavor. I believe it's a $10 course. I highly recommend it. I have it linked down below. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love all of the Budget Mom resources. She's probably my favorite of the financial gurus, if you will. Um, she has an Instagram page as well as a YouTube channel, and she sells a ton of really great budgeting products, including the um, Budget by Paycheck workbook that I use to do most of my budgeting. So anyways, my Christmas fund currently has $580 in it. My goal is to save $1,000 by November, and that will give me time to actually do my Christmas shopping, right? So um, over halfway to my goal, which is exciting, and we're going to add $25 more today. So we're going to add 25 and that should mean that we have $605 in this envelope. So we're gonna add a 20 and a five, and we're gonna slip this, these denominations in here where they belong. And then we'll count it up and make sure that that 605 is accurate. So 100, 200, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 600, 605. Perfect. So that'll just go right back in the envelope and this envelope will go back behind the Christmas tab. We are already over halfway done. This is going super quick. So next up we have hunting. My husband is a hunter. He enjoys it. It puts food in our freezer. So hunting season starts in October. So we are saving up money for all of the things. Um, that way we have it when October rolls around. So we are adding $25 to this fund today. And this fund started out at 165. So we should have $190 once I add 25 more. So we're gonna add a 20 and a five. And once again, slip those denominations in where they belong and we'll go ahead and count this up. I always like to count the money every week just so that I can double check my math and I can make sure that I haven't spent money throughout the week but neglected to write it down. Sometimes I do that, I'm human, I make mistakes. So um, if I'm counting the money after every time I add a little bit more or take some away, then that just helps mitigate any mistakes that I make. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. $190 for hunting. And this will go back behind the hunting tab. All right, next up I have home maintenance. And our home maintenance has been getting a lot of use. Um, I put money in there and it seems like immediately upon adding money, we have to turn around and take it back out. So our home maintenance fund is sitting empty right now, but that's okay. We've been using it. That's what it's there for. We haven't had to swipe a credit card for home maintenance projects. And that's what's most important. So we're going to add $25. And that will mean that we have $25. And that'll make the math pretty darn easy. So we have 20 and a 5. That's 25. 
and then I go back behind the home maintenance tab. Okay. So the very last um, category that we are funding today is Savopoly. So I will just go behind the tab here and pull that out. Savopoly is a fun printable that I found on MotherMeAndI.com. I paid $3 for it and printed it out. It looks like a little Monopoly board. You roll a dice, you go around the board, and the property that you land on correlates with how much money you save. It makes saving money a little bit more fun, I guess. So when I did my rolling for the week, I landed on a property that was worth $28. So we're going to add $28 today. My Saveopoly fund had $154 in it. And we're going to add $28. So let's see here. Um, so we're going to add $28, and $28 is what I have left in my little cash stack here. So that's good. It means I didn't make any mistakes this week. We're just going to slip it in where the denominations go, as usual. Put the fives with the fives, and the ones with the ones, and then we're going to count it up and make sure that we have $182. Fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, one sixty, one sixty five, one seventy, seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty, eighty one, eighty two, one hundred and eighty two. That's what I was supposed to have. That's what I do have. Awesome. This will go back behind the Saveopoly tab. And once I have added to all of the sinking funds for the week, I just close this up. This envelope then will get put into my safe um, behind a big locked door so that it's, you know, safe. I don't have to worry about it coming up missing. Um, and that takes care of that. So that was actually it for my video really short and sweet it's a lot shorter of a video when it's just the cash envelope stuffing um which is nice i maybe a, a shorter video will be nice for a change so that is it for the cash envelope stuffing and sinking funds i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up um leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of having the cash envelope stuffing in a separate video from the budget breakdown. I'd love to hear your input on that. Um, that will tell me moving forward if I should continue doing it this way or if I should go back to just one combined video. I'd love your input so please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed I would love it if you would do that. It really helps me out. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.